I'm outside here now today, keep an eye out. Because Red Truck Guy's ex wife's landlord down there got the house up for sale. So they're having an open house down there today, see? From three to five. So I'm gonna make an appearance down there later on. Not yet, right? I want to see who's gonna be going in and out there today. See if it's gonna be busy or what. But I'm gonna go down later on because I want to see what she got done with the place. That realtor that walked in there, she was dressed up like a stick of chewing gum out there. I felt like saying to her, do you realize the house you're going into? You might find Mrs. in the freezer yet. Now I hope to God when I goes in there that the realtor's not gonna be hand me the minute that walks into the door. I'm gonna say to her as soon as I walk in, I don't want no business card, no nothing, right? I'm not here to buy the house. I'm here just to have a look. See what she's got here, right? See the furniture and everything she has because I don't know if she was too stylish or not. I had to come in out of it. I can't hear myself think out there today, right? Too much racket going on. Buddy there next door with a mower and everything blowing up. Anyway, as I was saying, I was talking to Margaret this morning, see? Telling her all the goings on around down there and told her that I was going to the open house now today. And she said, oh, I'd like to go to that. And I said, why would you go to that? She said, well, you know, I'm looking for a house. She said, and I want to sell mine. And I said, Margaret, you're not going to want to be on this street here with me, are you? Anyway, in the midst of all that, she finally told me that her and Red Truck Guy are seeing each other. She said, my dear, she said he got the hats for me like something sick. And I said, Margaret, you says it about every fella, right? She said, well, he does. And she said, you know what I was thinking? I'm going to help you out with your investigation. I said, Margaret, you don't know anything about investigating, Margaret. I said, leave that stuff up to me, right? She said, you never know. I might be able to get something from him. And I said, well, you best be careful. I said, we already know she's capable of taking teeth out of Vera's mouth. She thinks she's going to try to get stuff from Red Truck Guy. He's not going to be telling her nothing, right? He's just using her anyways, I think. I said, Margaret, he got no more interest in you than he does with the leopard lady over there, look. And I said, so with him got something going on too, I think. So I said, because he'd be parked over there sometimes, well, parked down the road, and I seen him walking in there one time, and he was there for a couple hours. She said, I asked him about that before, actually. And she said, they're just friends. And I said, Margaret, that's not true. I don't believe that for one second, say. And she said, yeah. She said, he told me that she is actually teaching him pole dancing classes. I said, Margaret, if you believe that, you believe in me.